that's a truly disgusting tea. But you know what's not gonna be disgusting? 2020, which comes tomorrow. I'm super excited about it. And in this video, I wanna share with you some of my top goals when it comes to mainly work and career. My goals as an artist building a business around their uh, art. So let's get started with number one, and that is increasing the quality of my paintings. That's probably the number one thing for me um, because, and I did this brainstorming session and this kept coming up. I wanna be able to become better and better and better. And I think this has a couple of trajectories to, for me to take. First, obviously, is the technique. You can always get better. You can always learn how to better control the paint, better control the water. But also, I think making it more and more authentic, especially, and more and more unique. Meaning I wanna go more inside and paint things not just as they seem, but also as I see them and as they make me feel. I wanna make the painting process more of a relationship with the subject or the reference. So that's the first thing I would say and the most important thing. And by doing that, the work will also become more unique inevitably. And one last note about that, I actually wanna make my paintings a little larger. That's um, a thing I want to make a standard, meaning moving from a, an eighth of a sheet size minimum to a fourth. So instead of doing this, I'm gonna do this. Makes sense, hopefully. Um, and that'll be my new baseline so that that's my small size, you see? Because uh, uh, in the future, I wanna make it even larger and larger. And that, that's a big part of selling for higher prices, which is something I'm gonna talk about in just a moment, okay? Now, the second thing is I wanna improve the quality of the teaching. So this YouTube channel and every other place where I share um, my insights, my processes, all of those stuff, I want to become even better at that. And you know, a lot of people comment that my approach really helps them and I really uh, appreciate it. I'm grateful for having that ability, but I do recognize it's a skill as well. So it's not just an inherent ability. It's not like I had it. If you go watch the oldest videos on my channel, you'll be horrified. Uh, do that now. Maybe I'll delete them in the future. No, no, probably not. Uh, but if you go watch them, you'll see. So I want to improve that ability. So my ability to communicate, to better communicate what I'm, what I'm trying to teach, to simplify the concept in a way that, you know, that's how you measure true knowledge and skill. If someone can actually simplify the skill to someone who has no idea what they're talking about. And also I will say the most important byproduct of making my art better is that the processes and the results are gonna be better so it will make you more excited to follow along with me and hopefully produce more professional results, more and more with time. With that, what I wanna be is, <laughs> I have this, it's it's a bit, um, I don't know if it's, it's not selfish, but I wanna be one of the best, I really want to, but I also want to be one of those who shared the most or probably the person who shared the most out of all the painters, the watercolor painters. So I wanna have that interesting dissonance where and you see it in many fields. Very often the person who's best at the skill isn't necessarily the one teaching. That happens for multiple reasons. When someone is so good at the skill, it doesn't necessarily come with the teaching skills and it may be a very narrow area of expertise. So instead of me being a seven, and I know I'm being harsh, but that's fine, a seven in painting and a nine in teaching, that person's like a 12 in, in painting and there's three in teaching, okay? So um, it's, it's just where you put your resources and if you put more resources into sharing and, and talking and teaching, you have less time to paint. And if you go real narrow, uh, you have more time to really work on those skills. I wanna do both. So that's something to aspire for and it's something to move towards in 2020. Obviously it takes years to build true mastery and I'm on that path, but it's something I wanna um, uh, improve my skills in. Let's see what else I have here. I wanna sell for premium prices. I don't know exactly what it means, but um, I've, I've, this is something I really wanted to be able to sell my works for larger uh, amounts of money, like really larger. And it's, it's a bit audacious, but for sums that are really out there. So I don't know exactly how to do that. I talked about it in several of my recent podcast episodes. Um, and so I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do that, but I do know I wanna head towards that direction. So hopefully with time I'll slowly, but it's probably a lot about connections, who you know, and obviously some of the quality of your finished product. So that's another thing. 
Now, fourth, and this is really important for me, is um, innovation, to continue to innovate. And this means that whenever I learn of something new, something that works when it comes to sharing my work and marketing and, and all of that, I want to do it. I want to make sure that I'm on top of it. And it happens to me a lot just this year. If you look at 20, I think 2018 or end of 2017 is when I started my podcast. So that's new. And this year I started doing TikTok. Um, and more LinkedIn work. So meaning posting my works on those platforms, showing painting processes on TikTok. I'm, I'm not sure if you're familiar with it. It's a relatively new platform. It's not really new. It's been around for a couple of years. Started as Musical.ly, turned into, it's just a video uh, app that you watch tons of videos. But the thing is, if you have even zero followers there, you post a video, it gets tons of views because there's a lot of attention on the platform and it's still not saturated. So I moved quickly and started making tons of videos there. I want to continue doing that kind of a thing to innovate. Whenever I learn something new, go for that. Whenever, you know, and, and it's, it's about knowing who to listen to. So I have a couple of people I learn from and I watch their videos uh, on a regular basis to learn what's new and what's happening. But I think if, if you're not innovating, you're just starting the process of becoming less and re less relevant and more and more likely to not achieve your goals. And I want to achieve my goals. So I want to continue innovating. Um, so this means, you know, a lot of, I think plenty of artists have a newsletter, an email newsletter, but I think if you're just having a newsletter, then you're really falling behind. You need to have the podcast, you need to have the videos, you need, you need to have everything as much as you can. If you made the, the strategic decision to just produce um, art and focus on your skill and you want to zone out everything else, you don't want to share anything, you just want to be the best, that's fine. That's a strategic move. But if you aspire to teach a lot of people, to help a lot of people, to um, become well known and successful f for actually doing good things for others you have to go in that direction I feel like so that's something I decided a long time ago that I'm gonna do and I'm just doing it uh, so it's just staying on that path and continuing to innovate now one more thing is more products and courses and making them better I think the frustration free watercolor course uh, has been a serious step for me because it was the first product I created that after a, I always do market research, heavy market research, but this is the first one that I actually found a specific problem of not being able to let go and enjoy the painting process and just smack it in the face and, and solve it, hopefully for so many people. Um, it's a very specific product meant for a very specific problem that's very common. So it's a problem solver. That's what I wanted it to be. And I wanna continue moving in that direction. And I actually have an interesting plan in that regard, which is to create a product that is to the scale of the frustration free watercolor course in terms of content, making it very robust and very structured. So it's essentially a video course probably, and it's full of information. It's very, um, very focused at solving a problem. And then I'm going to give it for free. <laughs> So that's my plan. I don't know exactly what it will be. And this is a good time to leave me a comment in the description in the description. <laughs> leave me a comment in the comment section and let me know what you'd want that to be on. So I'm really thinking like a two, three, four, probably two to three hour long video course, very uh, focused on solving a specific problem. I'll probably upload it to YouTube as well in, in like I'll drip it. Uh, but I'll, I want to create an actual section for it that you log in and I just want to give it for free. I don't know exactly what it will be about. Let me know in a comment down below. It can be anything like drawing, sketching, composition, color harmony, um, um, like just specific techniques, a process, whatever it is you think that will help you. Let me know in a comment down below. I want to do that kind of a thing and make it really, really polished. Uh, so that's another really cool thing. I think this is mainly it when it comes to the career goals. I have a couple of other things, you know, eat healthy. I, I lost some weight in a good way. I started doing a bit of a different diet. Uh, that's very, I'm, I know exactly what I'm putting in my body and I'm not eating crap basically. Uh, so that's something I'm happy about. Um, and I think this is it. Let me know if you want to share your uh, goals in a, in a comment below. If you want to share your thoughts on this, I really appreciate it and would love to hear more about what you have to say. And with that, I'm going to end the video and I want to wish you a, a, an excellent 2020 that it will be the best year of your life. Hopefully you will make that leap you wanted to make. You'll aim for that goal you wanted to, to do. You'll start, you'll be consistent, you'll 
you'll not only begin, but also be consistent in what you want and just a lot of health, a lot of happiness. Um, I'm really excited. I think a lot of good things are gonna happen, honestly, and I know I'll do my best to make them happen. So thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it as always. Uh, and I will see you again in the next vid real soon uh, next year.